What's going on guys? Before we get started into this video, I want to tell you guys about Digizani. This is a website where you can buy cash, cash drops, account packages, rank, modded outfits, casino chips, and tons of GTA products that are available on all consoles. And this is 100% safe and secure. They have worldwide instant delivery. So if you guys haven't already, click the first link in the description. That would help me out a ton. And make sure to use code JITTER at checkout. Yet again, you guys can buy modded accounts and stuff. You can just brag to your friends and everything. So yeah, let's get into the video. What's going on, guys? JITTER here back with another GTA 5 duplication glitch. So... As you guys know, there was that scuba glitch. That one was a little harder than this glitch. So this is the vending machine glitch. I'm going to be showing you guys that it does still work. And I'll be showing you like an easier way to time it um, than like my other video. Because in my other video, I showed his back. But in this one, I'm going to show the side view. And it's a lot easier to see. So it might help you guys for those of you that are struggling with it. So this um vending machine glitch is still not patched i think it's been out for maybe a week or so now so yeah there are a few requirements as always you guys will need a bunker a facility and inside of your bunker you're going to need an moc with personal vehicle storage in bay 3 and you're going to want to get like an expensive vehicle like a future shock ac or some sort of an arena or benny's vehicle because they sell for the most money and cars sell off upgrades not off of like their whole price that's why these cars are a lot better than supercars so yeah and you guys also want to be in a free aim session and in an invite only session if you don't know how to get into a free aim all you want to do is go to story mode then go over to settings controls and just change this targeting mode to free aim so okay from there you just want to grab your like expensive car you just want to put it inside of your MOC, and once you put it inside of your MOC, you want to exit your MOC. And you guys will also need a free vehicle inside of your facility, like an LG. Once you guys are outside, you just want to drive over here, and park your car right over here, past that first block, and far enough away from the yellow line so your car is not invisible. And you just want to run outside. Once you guys are outside, all you want to do is hold up your interaction menu, go down to secure serve, register as a CEO, and then go to vehicles and order a free buzzard. If you guys do not have a buzzard, all you want to do is make your way over to the street and just grab a normal like street vehicle. Just make sure you don't order a personal vehicle. And then you want to make your way over to your facility. Alright, so once you guys do arrive at your facility, don't enter right away. Pull up your pause menu and make sure you have these blue jobs. If you do not, make sure you do this step outside. All you want to do is go to hide options, jobs, and make sure this is on custom and all of these are on show. And then you just want to enter your um, facility. So once you guys do enter your facility, all you want to do is run down this and just keep going down this hallway and you want to take a right past this desk up here. You just want to go down these stairs and you want to take a left and over to these vending machines. So what you guys want to do for this glitch is you want to hold start and as soon as you let go of the start button. You want to click right on the D-pad, and it should look like this. Oh, you should be grabbing like the soda, and you should have your map open. Then you want to go to your map, switch view, and go to the top left. And when you see your dude tilt his head back to grab a drink of the soda, that's when you want to start a job. So I'll show you guys how to do it here. Hold start, 
click right on the D-pad as soon as you let go of the start button. Go to map, switch view, and you want to go all the way to the top right. If you're having troubles with this part, all you want to do is turn view so you're like this, and then just do it like that, and you're able to get a better view of your dude's head. So as soon as he puts his head back, you want to start the job. And you'll have loading in the bottom right. And then you just want to go back to your garage where your free vehicle is. So once you guys do arrive at your free vehicle, all you want to do is just get inside. And you want to go on your friends list and just join a friend's game. Or get someone to invite you. And that's why we're in free mode, because most people you play with, um, or just most people that play GTA, play an assisted aim. So yeah, just try to make sure they're in a different targeting mode. <laughs> and now you just want to hold RT or acceleration once you join the invite. Is this Nick or Brayden? Right? You just want to keep holding RT through all these screens. And you want to just click A. And then you want to click B. And then this will pop up. It should kick you out of the car. And you just want to move around so it kicks you out of the facility. From here, all you want to do is just come hold up the interaction menu and then order your free buzzard back. Now you guys just want to make your way back to your bunker. Once you guys do arrive at your bunker, all you want to do is just enter. As you can see, my car is still here, so all you want to do is just get in it. And you just want to drive it into your um, MOC. Once you guys do arrive inside, you just want to exit and exit your bunker as well. So once you guys arrive outside, all you want to do is pull up your phone and go to your mechanic. You want to go down to facility. As you can see, I do have a Future Shack Issy now. I just want to order that. Once your car is here, all you want to do is just get in it. And you want to make your way over to your closest Los Santos Customs. If you want to sell it. If you don't want to sell it, you can just take it over to a, like a garage and just store it in the garage. I don't see the point of doing that, but if you wanted to, you could. I just like to always sell mine right away. Once you guys do arrive in Los Santos Customs, I want to do is sell it. As you can see, I can sell mine for $1.74 million. Once you do that, I want to do is run over to the street over here. Hold up your interaction menu. Go to services, mobile operation center, and you want to request your personal vehicle. Now you just want to make your way over to this car that you duplicated 
And then you just want to drive it back to your bunker. Once you guys do arrive in your bunker, all you want to do is drive your car into the MOC. Once it is inside of your MOC, all you want to do is restart all of the steps over again. And you can just keep on doing this duplication glitch to make millions in GTA 5 online. If this glitch did work for you guys, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications if you are new. I post all of the GTA 5 duplication glitches and keep you guys updated. So yeah, if this glitch, if this glitch does work also, can you comment down below that it's still working? Because there's lots of people that comment on my videos saying they're fake and that they're patched and stuff. But it's not. It is... March 14th so if you guys could tell them that it is April 14th it is April 14th not March 14th okay yeah